back for round four. We are 2-1 in the league, and we're going to mulligan this hand. Five lands is too many. I'd only consider keeping if it was Electromancer Brawl. Sorry, if it was Electromancer Gifts and Given, but even then. Yeah, this hand's much better. Some more um, cantrips than I usually like to see, but oh, yeah, we want that. Looks like a mirror match or Eldrazi. Almost certainly a mirror match, though. Yeah, we need a grape shot. Looks like our opponent kept a greedy six, hoping to dig for a second land. I think we're just gonna dig a little bit here, then plan to go off next turn. I think we can safely do this as well. Definitely just playing against another storm deck that was less fortunate than we were. Yeah. Okay, against the in a mirror match on the draw, we want lightning bolt. We want to spell. Want negate, we'll cut a remand. I don't like empty the warrens at all. We can cut a sleight of hand. I think we're playing a bit more reactive, so we can also cut a single Pyretic Ritual. And probably Gifts. Yeah. I think the trick to the mirror match is to interrupt our opponent mid-combo so that they waste resources. Oh, our opponent went to 61, that's bold. I'm going to feel fairly silly if we sided out the Empty the Warrens and they put in the Ley Line of Sanctity, but I don't think that's the correct way to sideboard in this matchup anyways. Hey, no turn zero Ley Line. Yeah, we're going to put the Past and Flames in his graveyard and counter it when he flashes it back and hope he doesn't have one in hand. Okay, Paths and Flames in the Graveyard and Desperate Ritual in the Graveyard.
if he has a counter spell, we're gonna lose here. But I don't think we can re realistically could have stopped him at any point with a counter spell in hand. Her opponent searches incorrectly. He should be down to only a single past and flame, so we put the second one in his graveyard. He might mess up and <sighs> I'm not gonna make him go through the whole thing, but as long like as soon as he casts Grape Shot, I'll concede. I'm also hoping to see a bit more of what's in his deck. Okay, on the play, I'm considering a remand. But, you know, I don't want to dilute our combo too much. I think I'm just going to keep this. I feel like in the mirror, the strict, straight blue red version is better because Echoing Truth can be used to bounce a ley line. If he casts goblins, you can get rid of the goblins. It can. Bounce his Electromancer and save yours from a bolt at the same time. The wear and tears aren't very good in this mirror. Yeah, it's hand sweet. We're going to keep it. The trick is to have the second Electromancer so you don't just lose to a single bolt. for interaction and combo spells here. Yeah, I'll put those both on the bottom. If our opponent plays a land and passes, I'll probably not play an Electroman. Oh, yeah, this will be fine. Ideally, he'll just play his own um, Electromancer this turn and we'll have a good chance of going off and winning. Or otherwise, finding interaction through our Pure Through the Depths. Okay, that's about all of the Electromancers we meet, need right now.
I think ideally we'd find a bolt right here. We're a little bit short in mana to really go off. Just like that. And I think we do want a metamorphose. So we can do that. This way we're not um, dead in the water if he kills an Electromancer and we draw a gift. Oh, we can legitimately win this game by attacking him, which is funny. Yeah, I legitimately think we're just going to go for killing him with uh, Electromancer beatdown. Remand might have been better there, honestly, but I'm not really sure. On the bright side, if we draw Gifts and Given, we can cast it for a single blue mana. He's just gonna get serum visions. Yeah, I think we let that resolve. <laughs> Come on, lightning bolt. Not to be a total jerk, but let's have some fun. Yay, we won the mirror match by attacking our opponent with goblins. Okay, so we're 3-1 uh, in the league. 